The Irresistible Power of God's Spoken Word Free Gospel for You Bible Shawl, No Copyright You are what God's Word says you are. The Word of God is dead to you who do not have the Holy Spirit. The Word of God I alive for you who have the Holy Spirit which all TID makes God's Word alive and active so that it creates it as it says. The Word of God, spoken in faith in the name of Jesu, has amazing powerful authority, overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. It requires you to open your mouth and proclaim in faith the Word of God. Here it is in not enough you Comer Church on Sunday and refueler. No. Even when you're at home open your mouth proclaims out loud what God's Word says. Isaiah 55 10-11 Thus is my word, which goes out of my mouth, it shall not return to me empty, but it will complete what I desire, and achieve the purpose for which I send it. There is irresistible supernatural power in the word of God, it will not return to him about throwing it out in the various places it works in the world of the invisible spirit to us. God's Word will fulfill His desires and purposes. The Word of the Lord will not return to Him invalidly, Isaiah 55 verse 11. In other words, it will get the job done. God's Word is powerful because it is guaranteed by God to be effective. You must necessarily know the Word of God before you can speak and proclaim it in faith so that it works, Therefore you must have the fullness or baptism of the Holy Spirit in you. When you speak God's word, you harness unlimited power. Jeremiah 23 verses 28 to 29 Let he that have my word speak it faithfully. 29 Is not my word like fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer breaking a rock into pieces? Think of the power of God's spoken word like a hammer. Imagine that. This hammer can hit a nail home equals positive results. This hammer can break down obstacles equals overcome negatives. Therefore, people who are affected often become angry and in rebellion towards those who preach the word of truth without putting their fingers in between. Speak, God's word, faithfully and all kinds of positive things will begin to happen and, all kinds of obstacles and resistance will begin to be broken. Torque slash pray and proclamation also at home. Be aware that God speaks directly by holy breath in you as you see, not everything is in the Bible, you must be filled with the Lord Jesus by the Holy Spirit within you, from which the word of the living water flows out. Three times Jesus spoke to Satan, it is written, and Satan's plans were defeated. There is great power in the spoken word of God. Your words have power when they are the word of God spoken in faith through your lips. Fortunately, we don't have to guess what God's word is. Jesus didn't guess. He quoted the scriptures, so should we, because the Bible is the word of God. John 11 43-44 After saying this, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. 44. The dead man came out. In 1. Genesis God said, Let there be, and light, sun, many, and stars, animals, birds and fish, and more came into being from God's spoken word of power. Jesus said, The words that I speak to you, they are spirit, and they are life. John 6 verse 63. Say his word, speak the scriptures of the Bible, because the word of God is life. Hebrews 4 verse 12, in ASB, affirms this, the word of God is alive and active. God's words have life, they bring life, just like Jesus' spoken words to the dead Lazarus. Say the powerful word of God to your Lazarus. Devil, come out, for you are overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Cancer, leave this body, for by the wounds of Jesus this child of God was healed. Economy, come in line, for my God shall provide for all my needs according to his wealth and glory. John 8 verse 51 I tell you the truth, if anyone keeps my word, 
he will never see death. Wow, talk about the mighty power of God's word. Keep his word and you will never see death. You don't just know his words, but keep it. The word of God is the bread of life. Many Christians are as dead they lack the bread of the living word of life. Throw out to them let them eat and be satiated in the word of God and he wine the Holy Spirit. That word says, I'm going to raise him up. Referring to eternal life through faith in Jesus, it says the saying, Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. That word says we shall reign with him forever. John 8 verses 31 to 32, Then Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If I abide by my word, you are truly my disciples, 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. His almighty word will set you free. Drug slash alcohol, I have not used for you, for the Son of God has set me free. The addictive behavior, you are no longer in control of me because Jesus has set me free. I abide by my word, you are truly my disciples, 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. An uncontrollable wing? I am more than a conqueror through him who loved me. John 17 verse 17, Sanctify them by the truth, your word is truth. Psalm 119 verse 11, I have hidden your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. God's word in our hearts is a powerful antidote to sin. Does temptation come through the eyes? I made a pact with my eyes. Temptation to pride? God exalts the humble. Temptation to the flesh? God, with temptation, will create a way out. Temptation to dishonesty? Psalm 51 verse 6 Surely you want truth in the inner parts. Acts 10 verses 44 and 46 While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came upon all who heard the message. 46 For they heard them speak in tongues and praised God. Speak the living word of God to people to open up to them new dimensions in the Holy Spirit. Tell people what God's word says about the mighty baptism of the Holy Ghost. Tell them what God's word says about divine healings, prophecies, miracles. Tell people from God's word to pray for and expect the demonstration of the Holy Spirit and power. Romans 10 verse 8 But what does it say? The word is near to you, it is in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith we proclaim. People in the Bible understood this. He asked Jesus to speak that word of faith, and his servant would be healed. Peter understood this. He said, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you, composes several healing scriptures into five powerful words. Paul understood the importance and power of God's spoken word, Timothy, preach the word. The Almighty Word of God, the Word of Faith, is in your mouth to be spoken. Confidently take your stand on God's Word and its power. Speak the Word and expect its irresistible power to produce astonishing results. The Word of God you must be filled with in your thoughts, lives, and minds. The words of men do not work they are dead words without the results of God. Study exactly the word of God live in Jesus in the word, speak, and do as Jesus teaches you. As you can see clearly, you are what God's word says you are use the sword of the spirit God's word. Amen.